little aura day three doing quite well yep. so that first thing she's probably about four weeks old she's still getting a hang of feeding but it seems like if we just drip it at the front of her mouth she slowly eats it <laughs> yeah so the first day she basically got electrolytes to yeah. rehydrate her because apparently it can kill them if you feed them when they're very dehydrated yeah so or cold very important warm the squirrel then hydrate and then you slowly um up the milk content so this is about a a one part uh goat's milk to the two part electrolyte i've been slow to increase it just because uh she's been hydrating quite slow sometimes she seems fine and uh other times she just seems a little dehydrated still so i'm feeding her quite frequently she's peeing and pooping good yeah, we so think she might be well. uh, sweating a little bit too much at night, so uh, maybe we're keeping her a little bit too warm, a little bit too covered, so maybe we should uh, put in a slightly bigger box, not covered quite so much. Yeah, I think that's why in the morning she's a little dehydrated versus at night she's fine. Although Jellybean has been feeding her in the night. Yeah, I fed her at 2 a.m. last night and then woke up at 6.30, she probably ate about... So that's probably st then, still a bit too long to go between feedings being well, that little. at four weeks that should be fine, but because she's probably still recovering, I might need to up it in the night. So she might need another feeding in the night until she's recovered. But, uh, oh, and she's doing a big pee. But it's a good sign she's peeing and pooping because, uh, and you usually have to stimulate them. That's the first pee she's done without stimulating, but you normally gently rub their little privates with a wet um, Q-tip. And because uh, that's what mummy schedules do, yeah. Under four weeks, they won't pee or poop on their own, or under five weeks. But I, I'll have to look back at Rose's journal because we, we raised the squirrel from about an hour old, a little pink slug. <laughs> so I have a perfect documentation of uh, how old she is from, from how old Rose was. I'll have to look. But yeah, we got another girl. Yeah, although we have primarily a car channel, which is Max's Mean Machines, we do love our little animals. So we do have quite a lot of animal videos as well. And I kind of feel that uh, with our channel, we kind of want it to cater for the whole family. Not that there's not a lot of car guys out there who love their little animals, but we you know, like I said, predominantly have cars. But we rescue anything we can. Yeah, we've got a lot of videos of uh, baby raccoons, possums, <laughs> squirrels, and uh, over the years we've saved a lot of little animals and often we, uh, we slowly uh, acclim acclimatize them back outside. Yeah, now and, and again uh, one sticks around. Yeah, one, now and again one's kept as a pet because they're just so um, clingy and sweet. Yeah. And uh, Maximilian, my son, he's big on fishing. So we have quite a lot of fishing videos. And uh, we're quite big on boats. So we have quite a lot of boating and fishing videos. And we all like to cook, so uh, we have a few cooking videos. But uh, like I said, I try to aim my channel at the whole family. So that there's something in the whole family that they could like about the channel. Yeah, it's a little swollen leg is getting a little and bit better. I'm trying to post enough on each subject that, you know, no person who's subscribed to my channel because of one thing um, gets bored because they still see quite a lot of that one thing being posted on the channel. So we've got over 600 videos now. Hi, Athena. Jelly baby, what are you doing? <laughs> Coming through. So yeah, it's little belly's looking it nice was, and it healthy. Was, it was little jelly baby. Jelly baby, look at me. Jelly baby. <laughs> it was little jelly baby who named the squirrel. Yep. Yeah, I said, what should we name it? She said, Aura. I said, okay. <laughs> What's the squirrel's name? Yeah, talk, talking isn't a big thing for her right now. Yeah, what's the tree trimmer doing? Baby beans, uh, up on the counter looking at tree trimmers from uh, Duke Energy, trimming the power lines. 
make sure that uh, the power stays on in the storms. Uh oh, did they cut down any big trees? <laughs> they better not cut down my cake of trees. Oh, yeah, there goes one Enrica Palm. Anyway, so this is day three. We'll keep you posted. Everybody have a nice day. So we're giving little Aura a little wash. You've got to be careful doing this because, you know, if they get wet and uh, cold, that's very bad for them. So it's important to get the temperature right. And, uh, but it is important to keep them quite clean. Yeah, I couldn't get the temperature quite right without having it this, this full, but she seems to like it. But uh, we'll make sure we dry her really well and keep her wrapped up and warm. Yep. So it's right into a flannel, dry it off, and then into a dry flannel, back on her, and then pan. Yeah. But inside the house, it's quite cold because of the AC. Mm. So when you're wet and the AC's blowing on you, it can be very cold. <laughs> Let's jolly baby. Okay, you see little flannel, you won't tell mum. So little Aura is fed, washed, and now ready for bed. <laughs>